This episode's going to be quite cool, I'm hoping, because we are going to start an elytra course. I don't know what I'm doing. And the winner of the most inefficient building technique goes to the duck. Minus, I was like 900, minus... No! What just happened? Oh! Do you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the day. Oh, be back tomorrow. What's happening, YouTube people? Dead Duck here, and welcome to episode 11 on the Mindtech server. I'm here, back in the community district, after rage quitting because I died, uh, because my elytra broke, and I fell into a tiny little pool of lava. Now, wasn't that quaint? Um, but I still, um, I still, I'm really up for doing this elytra course. I really want to do that. Um, but it occurs to me that we have some business to take care of. Um, down at the tag HQ. So um, let's go and have a look and see what I'm talking about. If you remember, um, I built this tag HQ to govern our game of tag. Um, it contains all the rules and our scoreboards um, and that kind of thing. Um, but I came, to, I came here one day to just check something out and uh, I came across these signs from Karma. Um, he fancies himself some sort of a landlord. He just decided one day that he is going to manage and sell land around the community area. So um, when I came back to Sag HQ, I came across uh, this sign that says, this building hasn't uh, been approved by Karma Incorporated. Um, contact your local sales rep for information. Um, failure com to comply will result in penalties. Um, okay, Karma, <laughs> he, thinks, um, he thinks he's gonna get, get me with this. Uh, no, 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 that's not how it works, boy. Um, so, like, he's made a rule, so I'm going to follow it, I'm going to follow it, but me and Jake have been talking over the last couple of days, and it occurs to us that the Mindtech server needs some sort of government, because we can't just let these people be running around the server, um, like, charging people for stuff that's free. Um, that's kind of, you know, that he, if he wants to be, you know, all capitalism... I'm gonna go capitalism on his ass as well, and I'm gonna build. <laughs> I'm gonna build a government headquarters, literally, right next to his shop or something. I don't know, like a depressing, grey, gloomy building, and then I'm gonna serve him with a few notices of my own. So um, I'm gonna start building this government building, and then I'm gonna serve him a couple of notices and see how he likes dem apples. Okay, so I think I found a place to start this thing. Um, just round the back here, kind of near the redstone store, um, this little area, and Jake has jumped on to help me, uh, because this is kind of his brainchild, so um, he, he kind of wants to help me um, prank the hell out of Karma, which I cannot wait to do, by the way, I'm so excited, <laughs> I'm so excited. He's going oh, to South good. Africa pretty soon, um, so I'm hoping he's going to see this before he goes, because it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> right, so um, Jake has come up with some sort of a building design for the government headquarters, and I, I like, yep. are we going to have like a judge and jury kind of section and everything in there? Yeah, so basically inside, as soon as you walk in, it will be like an actual law court, there will be a giant platform where the judge, which in this case will be you, will sit. <laughs> and there'll be a really small defendant's box all the way in front of it, like on the floor, where anyone who breaks the law will have to plead their case. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny as hell. <laughs> there will be a jury, there will be a witness stand, there will be a public viewing seating area. And Wicked. Can we make the jury up of, like, villages and stuff? <laughs> yeah, what I plan to do is have an area where I can place minecarts, and then I'm going to put the villagers in the minecart so that they can't escape. <laughs> so the second you walk in, nice. you're just going to have a bunch nice. of villagers staring at you in the jury. And you're going to know this isn't a good place to be. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. That sounds perfect. Well, I have no idea um, what your building structure is. I've seen your screenshots, um, but I suppose it's going to be on you to like kind of get the foundations up. I'm going to yeah. start on the book, um, <laughs> the book that I'm going to leave in his box <laughs> that's basically going to tell him he's been punked. Um, so yeah. you get cracking on the foundations and whatnot. I'm going to go and grab Definitely. some bits and pieces and go and make this book. Okie dokie, sounds good to me. And I'll meet you back here.
This is funny. <laughs> right, I think I got it. <laughs> Can I carry on going straight across with the with the steps or not? Uh, yeah, I'm just marking off the middle. This is the centre because it's quite important. Okay, so shall I, shall I, or not? Right, well that's about as far as I can help you, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me what to do and I'll do it. Have a look at that already, like, it's already looking... Yeah, it already looks pretty sick, man, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. It's very cool. Right, well we've got this building started, it's looking pretty cool! It's looking yeah. pretty cool! <laughs> it's gonna be a beast. <laughs> it's a big old building, man, it's really big! Yeah, I told it's you. It's really, was. really big. <laughs> it's cool looking though, man. Yeah, I like. I like. I don't. I don't mess about. I do reckon though, like a little bit of um, quartz around here now and again would be, look pretty cool. I might even go and fetch some out. This is going to be a really nice looking building when it's done. Right, I'm thinking I might even border these stairs with quartz. Mm. You'll see what I'm saying. Well, come and have a look what I'm doing here. Well, I'll be down sec. And see if you like it or you don't because it might be a bit much especially with that co much quartz i didn't realize how long it's gonna have to go on that side oh i see what you mean so i mean like frame it a little bit out ah but maybe the bottom of the pillars c ah yes that's what i might do i might make the bottom of the pillars in nether nether brick um steps that will look good i'm, I'm thinking I'll, sh I'll try it and see what you think maybe if we can can we not get the jury to be mindless zombies <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if... Wouldn't that be fucking funny? <laughs> if we can. <laughs> yeah, you just get villagers in there if you want and then just fucking get a zombie to attack them and then kill the zombie when it's done. <laughs> I was thinking of putting a wooden lines up the side for reasons I don't know and cannot explain to you. Maybe we should do like a balcony up there, like... And some shit, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to visualise because otherwise it's going to look very much like a big square block. Let me go and get some wood and stuff. Well, while we are near this big forest, I might as well cut it all down. Oh, these are big bloody trees. And it's right at night time. <laughs> I ain't being kind with this forest. I'm not taking the tops out. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of floating trees. Gotta do what you gotta do. Right, this is looking really, really good so far. Um, we got quite a few plans for this thing. We've been talking about um, inside here, as we mentioned before, we're gonna have like a jury stand and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're gonna have like the judge bench up here or whatever you call that thing. Um, and we, where we have the defendant box, we're gonna have a trap door um, and <laughs> with a button attached to it so that we can drop them down into a pit below full of mobs and like, <laughs> like nasty things. It's gonna be hilarious. So yeah, we got some work to do. Yeah, we're gonna have a thing where before you can enter the courtroom, you're gonna have to put all of your possessions, any weapons or anything that you have um, in some sort of chest, which will take it into uh, some hoppers or something, you know, take the items away, which you could have back once you leave the courtroom. So no weapons, nothing in the courtroom. So if you are found guilty, <laughs> and you do end up dropping <laughs> down into that mob pit. You are not. You're only going to have your hands. We can put some saying. stuff down there. Like we'll, we'll give them a chance. Yeah, we'll yeah. Give them, let like, me go. Put, know, some, um, put a, a wooden, wooden sword. sword or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's a wooden sword. Well, it's looking really cool, man. I can't wait to like finish the rest of this off. But right now, I'm going to move. Um, these cactuses because they are in our way. Add insult to injury. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to get rid of them completely. I'm going to replant them because they're really handy. Karma, your cactuses are out of here. I need to, I need to make a cactus farm. I still haven't made a cactus farm even since last series. <laughs> I got a cactus farm. Because <laughs> you're wow, that's fucking you cheeky bugger. Like <laughs> you don't want to ever see my cactus farm ideas, man. Well, I don't know what it is with you and my cactus farm ideas. You just don't want to see it. Like why? Somebody out there must want to see me make a cactus farm. <laughs> no one wants to see you make a cactus farm. <laughs> I think I can make a cool one. No <laughs> one wants to see you make a cactus farm. Right, where should I put all these cactus? Cacti. <laughs> Cactus. <laughs> cactuses. It's the cactuses. <laughs> there we go. I knew it. Second, the second we started doing it, I was like, how many different ways are we going to say cactus? <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> What's that? Cactini. <laughs> Cactinks. Cactinski. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why do we do this? Because we're idiots. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make it almost impossible to harvest these cactus as cactine cactinuses. Cactinus. <laughs> Come and have a look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> A lot of cactoni, isn't it? <laughs> and we should put all the cactuses underneath so when you fall <laughs> yeah. down, you fall, you fall like in a gap. <laughs> yeah, that's really oh, good, maze yeah. Of, a maze, a maze of cactus. <laughs> yes, yes. And at the end, there's just lava. At the end, there's a pressure plate with lava. It just fills the entire place up with lava. You will die. Right, we need some windows in this motherfucker. I was gonna add a couple windows in here, but I'm just struggling. Doesn't look right to me at all. Should I bother with windows? Yeah, it needs something though, dude. Do you know what I'm saying? What kind of built windows would this building have? I feel like it wants to have like some small circular crossy wind cross windows, like just along the top. Oh, I think I might just have it. I'm having a hard time with this. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I wonder if I would put, would it be too much if I did that? Jake, I'm just doing nothing. <laughs> I'm just literally, I'm just doing nothing here. I'll do something then. Look what I've just done. Have a look. Oh! It's, it's horrible and it's taken me how long? Mm. That's got to go, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you help me? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to do, Jake, with this building. I just, I don't. It's just a big, I need to sort that squareness out. I need to, right, wood is a bad choice. This is a building outside of a building. We don't need wood. It was a thing that I thought that is not a thing. What the heck am I going to do with this fucking building, Jake? I'm not good at building in this kind of style. <laughs> to make this look good, Jake, we would need to put a lot of windows in. Right, can I be helping you with something useful? Uh, you could. You could start filling in all the gaps. We need to put ridges on this house. That's what I can do. You design the outer frame and I'll 3D it because we need ridges on that shit. Ta-da! The building is up. It looks awesome. I like it a lot. It's massive. <laughs> it's huge. When you <laughs> compare it to the other building, it's huge. But it's looking cool as hell, man. Right, so inside, we're going to be putting um, like a jury stand and like witness boxes and all that kind of stuff in there. And a little trap door where we're going to sentence whoever we need to sentence and drop them into the mob infested pit that is the <laughs> bottom floor of this place. <laughs> um, but we, just for now, because we really don't have too much time, um, we're gonna chuck some boxes in here just so that if he sees it in the meantime, he can come and pay his fines if he, if he, if he chooses to do so. Um, and then we're gonna take him his little notice, um, serve him his penalty notice um, at his PO box. So um, let's just chuck these chests in here, Jake. So here we go. We have our boxes up, ready for um, karma. I'm gonna need Tim to log in and check his um, check his PO box. But talking of PO boxes, let's go and deliver him his book. This is the notice that <laughs> that we're serving to him. Um, Mind Tech Government Law Violation Notice. Dear Karma Landlord Services Inc, it has come to our attention that you have violated various laws and owe several diamonds in unpaid taxes, insurances, and fines. No landlord's insurance, no EPC, unpaid council tax, failure to implement tenancy agreements, no formal safety inspections carried out, total amount of tax owing, 34 diamonds, total amount in unpaid fines relating to aforementioned breaches in law, 30 diamonds, failure to comply and pay the total amount in full within 30 days will result in seizure of assets. If assets cannot be seized or does not meet the required amount owed, possession of property will be enforced and may result in property demolition. Please pay all outstanding debts and fines directly to Government HQ. If you would like to challenge this ruling, please make an appointment for a hearing at Government HQ. If you would like to purchase <laughs> landlord's insurance, this can be obtained at Government <laughs> HQ for 10 diamonds. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Where am I going? Let's just deliver that right into his mailbox. Uh. You have been served, sir. <laughs> this will teach you to mess with dead Jack. <laughs> one more thing, one more thing though I think needs to be done before. If we go to the Tag HQ and tear down that goddamn sign. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see if he can come up with anything to top government. <laughs> I wonder if he'll think of anything to topple the government. <laughs> the anti, like fucking anarchist society, <laughs> come and topple us. <laughs> well, this has been a lot of fun to do. It's been a lot of fun to record this episode. I can't wait to get the insides of this done because we're planning to like, we're planning to have like a proper like court hearing room here and everything. Like it's going to be really cool. Have a jury with villagers in there and stuff. And that's going to be hilarious. But that is all I have got time for in this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I've really enjoyed making it. Um, and that is pretty much it. Dead Duck out. Cheers. We do what we did last time, say about the building, and um, was that necessary? <laughs>